Hello, my name is Conor Fadgen and I'm the National Governance Officer with Badminton Ireland. This video today is the first in a series of videos on topics regarding data protection. The topic we're going to cover today is the administration of membership data within Badminton Ireland. Previously, clubs would have administrated membership data using a lot of paper copies of information, personal data, or even indeed special categories of data. Under GDPR, Badminton Ireland are looking to comply with the legislation by not having duplicate data stored in insecure places. We also have to bear in mind that we have to administrate membership data for the purposes of our sport. There is a process in terms of administrating membership data. So a member joins a club, generally on a membership form, and this membership form should have consent so that they are aware of what their membership data is being used for. The data from the membership form should then be inputted into the Badminton Ireland membership system. Once the personal data has been entered into the system, the hard copies should be destroyed. The consent forms should be retained. The consent can be retained as it is merely only a signature. This means now that the membership data is now stored securely inside the membership system. The information can be accessed by club officers, county officers, branch officers and league organisers. Once the personal data has been entered into the system, that person has a profile created around them. Your BI number is your pseudonymized profile number. This number can then be communicated with other bodies within Badminton Ireland. What Badminton Ireland are trying to achieve in terms of GDPR legislation is that we're minimizing the data in terms of its transference across multiple bodies. For example, a club might wish to enter a team into a league so the club can enter across the BI numbers of the players involved and the league organizer can obtain those BI numbers and access the system to correlate the people to those numbers. If you have any questions or queries, please get in touch with me on my contact details to follow.